Hello, in this Bootstrap 4 video we're going to look at button dropdowns. A button dropdown is a mixture between a button group and a regular button. Basically you have a button group and within that you have a button which is what you click and then a drop down menu appears. So to actually get started the first thing that we need to do, so I've decided these break lines here just so it looks a little better on the website but you don't need to do that. And so like I said, the first thing you'll need is a div and this div is going to be the button group. We have a separate video on button groups in this series so check that out. It'd be best if you watch that before watching this video. And within it we're going to add a button like we have before. We're just going to add one particular type of button stored in a particular way but you can add an outline button, a small button, whatever type of button you want, that's totally up to you. So for the type, it's going to be button. For the class, it's going to be btn. btn-primary, like I said, you can add whatever type of button you want. I'm going to keep it simple and add a primary button. And now you just put a class of dropdown-toggle. Now we need to do data-toggle. And within this, we have drop down, and we need to do area dash has pop up. This is spelled pop up correctly. Equals true. So this just allows you to actually what well, pop up. Area dash expanded equals false. And now what we can just do is close this button and just put some text inside the button. I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna put click me, exclamation mark. Now after the button itself, we're gonna add another div, and inside this div, or what I should say is, this div needs to have a class of drop down menu. So this is all the menu item that will appear once you click the button and the drop down menu appears. So for this, just put ahref, equals drop down dash item now just put a href I'm just gonna keep it simple and just put duh, 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 duh. I'm gonna put our website but you can obviously put whatever you want you and put a particular part on your web page reload the current web page and send the get variable or just go somewhere else entirely and inside here I'm just gonna put button one and that's how you create a basically a drop down menu I'm gonna copy and paste this so we got several drop down items the format is exactly the same yeah three should be enough I'm gonna put two two three save that now if we go to our web browser refresh so we've got our button, so you got a little, I believe that's called the carrot symbol right there. And if I click that, a button, no, that's not how it's meant to look. So let's go back to our code and have a look at what is missing or what has gone wrong. Because like I said, it shouldn't look like that. Man, let's make sure we got everything correct. Drop down menu, drop down item, do 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 Everything looks all good here let's have a look before this so we got button btn dash primary drop down dash toggle data dash toggle is drop down and then for the area has pop up make sure I spelt all of this correctly equals true area dash expanded equals false so something about this it ain't liking. So let's just have another look. We got btn dash group type equals button. I'm positive it's something linked to the to this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I didn't put it as a class. I put it as a href. You're probably laughing at me, thinking, "What is this guy doing? Adding two hrefs and saying class?" If we go back, refresh. This doesn't look different, but when I click on it, this is how it's meant to look. So we got the three different menu items. 
you may have seen in websites that have drop downs they have like a little divider that divides some of the menu items that's built into bootstrap as well and to add a divider is simple just do a div where you want the divider to be placed make sure you have the class of drop down dash divider don't need to put any text inside it because it's just empty and now you can simply just put another item so i'm just going to copy and paste this Oopsie daisy, use the wrong keyboard shortcut for copying. And I'm actually gonna just put the text sign out. This doesn't do anything. There you go, we've got our divider and we've got our fourth button, which is after the divider. The reason I just put sign out is because on a lot of websites when you are logged in on Sign or Learning as well, our education platform. When you go to something like the top right, click a drop down, it's usually like a profile button. You have something like my profile, so there's some more info, some more pages that are linked to your profile, and then usually it's separated and it says sign out. So I thought it'd just be pretty cool to show you that. What you can also do is a split drop down button and a split drop down button is very similar but the button itself and the drop down toggle are separated so you could have a default click action alternatively you could have a drop down as well so let's just show you that it's really simple to implement so what I'm gonna do is just copy and paste this because it's essentially the same as this so all we need to do is add another button and this button right here button it's just like we've done button before a type of button class equals btn btn I'm put primary and for this I'm gonna put click me and now this is all set up if we just save it it's gonna look slightly dodgy when we click on it i mean when we refresh we got essentially two buttons we click this one this is just a regular button that's part of this drop down or when we click this one we have a drop down menu we don't want this text text it doesn't look very good you can have it if you want it but generally what you want to do is enclose the text inside a span tag which has a class of sr only which is for screen readers so that way the actual drop down itself is empty in terms of text but screen readers have a, have something to go by when they when they are being used so we got a regular button and we got our alternative drop down as well so usually these items will be linked in some way to the original button but they will provide alternative options so to make your drop down bigger or smaller all you have to do we're not actually going to do this for you we want you to try this out yourself but simply where you have used buttons add a button sizing so if you just check out the buttons video in this series you'll see how to do sizing with buttons just add the class and you're all good to go that's the beauty of this it's no different from how you usually would do buttons in terms of styling and sizing and that sort of stuff it's just an extension of that it's just using buttons and enhancing them finally the last thing we're going to show you is drop up because at the moment when i click any of these they drop down but you may want them to drop up and to do that you simply add a class to the div that has btn dash group called drop up so that's input refresh and now we have this drop in up oh, that's all you have to do to make your drop down menu be a drop up menu if you have any questions feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk for slash questions.php that's our free education platform with thousands of completely free videos there'll be a link in the description so you don't need to remember it plus there'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video and the source code from all the videos in this series so check that out please rate comment and subscribe as it does really help keep the content free plus it also helps us provide more content like this if you got any requests in terms of video 
let us know so you can post it on Sonar Learning or there'll be there'll be an email address in the description as well so just ask if you want a video and we will help accommodate that and as usual thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day